Hi, it's Natasha with soulbynat.com here, and today I am with Mr. Kevin Jefferson, the people's lender. <laughs> so we are going to ask a lender today. Before we get started, how long have you been in the industry? I've been originating loans for about three and a half years, and prior to that, I was a realtor for about 14, so I've been around uh, real estate for about 17 years. You get the grind. I get the grind. Who made you go into mortgages? Funny, uh, when I moved to Georgia, uh, we were looking to purchase a home. And the lender that was referred to us, you know, was asking his normal questions about what uh, what I was going to do. And he, he asked me if I was ever considered being a loan officer. Then I told him I had, but where I was located, I had been a realtor for so long that people would still associate me as a real estate agent as opposed to a lender. Okay. So when I came here and decided what I wanted to do, um, it just made more sense for me to become a lender and reinvent myself where no one really knew me. Well, kudos to you with lending. I know what I go through. I feel like the lenders have it, have, have a hard time. I think it's a misconception. I think mm -hmm. that we, we work, we both work super hard in what we do. Mm -hmm. Like when people ask me, do I miss being a loan? I mean, being a real estate agent, I tell them in this market, no, because I don't want to show somebody 30 houses from Snellville to Fayetteville. So, you know, it's, it's totally different, but we do work a lot and we work late so we can get you guys what you need. But you, when we're not working, you're out showing houses and okay. inspections and negotiating. So I, I definitely know that, you know, we're both equally important in the transaction. Awesome, you are natural, aren't you? <laughs> Let's get into the first question. What is the difference between, you know, lenders, mortgage brokers, and like big banks? Did I ask that question right? Did I yeah, you did. You okay. include everybody. Okay. So I, I'm a correspondent lender. At our company, American Eagle, we lend our own funds for the transaction. And anywhere between 30 and 60 days, it gets sold off on the secondary once we have all the correct paperwork and documents in. Okay. So we lend our own money and we get it back selling it to larger companies, to Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, um, okay. so we can replenish that warehouse line. Um, a broker, what a broker does is they work with multiple companies directly okay. and each one of them may have different um, lending criteria. So the broker, where they don't lend their own funds, they're able to be aggressive in terms of the rate that they have the ability to offer because they're shopping it for the best rate for the client. Okay. Sometimes the problem is that the person's credit gets pulled multiple times depending upon the criteria that's required by the different company. Okay. And if a borrower has uh, or wants down payment assistance, all brokers don't deal with down payment assistance. Mm -hmm. So then I usually get referrals from brokers that they can't do the deal on. Got you. Got um, a you. bank. So a bank, what people, I get a lot of clients who get referred to me by realtors and the first thing they want to do is go to their bank and see if they can get approved. Okay. And I always educate them and say, hey, that's a great idea, but the bank criteria is a lot more stringent than what lenders and brokers do because banks are in the business to take in money and not necessarily always loan out the money. Mm, um, okay. Even though they have mortgage divisions, that's still not their, um, their bread, the bread and butter. Um, with that being said, people usually go and find out that they have to have a 640 and no late, so it's a little bit more difficult. And they come back to me, um, but mm -hmm. it's, you know, big banks have great opportunities in certain markets because they have to do so much lending in the community that they're in. Okay. But typically that window that a person has to fit in is very small to get that community uh, grant. Okay, gotcha. Is it the same for credit unions? Yeah, credit unions is about the same. They're a little less stringent than uh, banks, but they do have products that they can hold. So the premise, what I did say, banks do offer certain things that us as lenders and brokers don't offer. Okay. If, if we can do doctor's loans where I'm at, mm -hmm. but if someone is savvy and they want the best doctor loan they can get, it, okay. they're probably more beneficial to go to a bank because they can hold that loan in-house where we typically have brokered it out. Okay, so what's a doctor's loan? 
Uh, physician's loan, I'm sorry. Okay. So if someone's uh, a physician gets out of medical school and, you know, obviously at that point they don't have two years of uh, work history okay. and they've got a ton of debt, uh, they cater that loan to them because we know that physicians make great money. Oh, okay. Yeah. So this wouldn't apply to your average like student loan. You no. just have a lot of student loans. No, it wouldn't, that wouldn't apply to the average uh, person. It's pretty much physicians, okay. dentists, or someone like that, uh, neurologists, or okay. anesthesiologists, or someone like that. Huh. Okay, that was great information. Mm -hmm. Make sure you check out Kevin. Kevin, where can they find you? You can find me on Facebook under Kevin Jefferson Mortgages. You can find me on Instagram at The People's Lender. You can also find me on YouTube under Kevin Jefferson, The People's Lender, and I can be found on LinkedIn under Kevin Jefferson Mortgages. Awesome. Guys, please go and show Kevin some love. He is so knowledgeable, as you can see. Like, Thank you for watching. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and have a positive, peaceful, and productive day. Thank you. Bye.